This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Mick Garris. Let's journey once again to the fantastic 1970s, when anything a filmmaker could imagine could really end up on the big screen at your neighborhood movie house. So in this hotbed of cinemagic imagination, in 1974, Flesh Gordon was released in all its X-rated glory. Gentlemen, we are in big trouble. This is a time when repertory cinemas were in vogue, and every city seemed to have at least a couple movie houses where they ran double bills of movies like Harold and Maud and Where's Papa and Alice's Restaurant and Easy Rider and The Trip. For me, it was the Academy Theater in San Diego. If nothing else, the 1970s offered filmmakers a lot of freedom to explore their ideas. After the MPAA created the rating system in 1968, there was a newfound freedom to make movies for all ages. And Flesh Gordon was a surprisingly ingenious send-up of old-time space operas, littered with bad little boy naughty puns and copious nudity, even a sprinkling of hardcore sex. Though working from a script that seemed to have been written by a very Randy Forey Ackerman, but actually written by co-director Michael Benveniste, what makes Flesh Gordon truly notable is the sophistication of its special effects. Brilliant young talents like Rick Baker, Greg Jean, Jim Danforth, and John Dykstra, who would later go on to fame and fortune in films like Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, cut their teeth on this movie. And most of the wit and imagination spring more from their work from the script or the filmmaking. The stop motion animation is particularly impressive with the great god porno and the penisaurus standing out. And there is even a character with an unpronounceable name that is Harryhausen spelled backwards. The sword battle between Flesh Gordon and the pointy-headed alien is a worthy tribute to Harryhausen and amazingly accomplished for a film this inexpensive. It's said to have cost around $700,000, and the production shows it in all areas other than the miniatures and the effects. There's been a lot of controversy about this movie with claims that there were hardcore scenes that were removed by a court case and forced to be destroyed, and other claims that there was nudity but no hardcore action in the original film. I remember that there was an orgy scene that featured the real penetrative stuff, but from a distance. Beyond that, my memory is hazy. I'm sorry to say that this trailer cheats you of one of the funniest and most memorable moments in the movie. The stop-motion monster god porno here at the end says, Oh fuck, not oh boy. Oh boy. Not to be confused with the original Flash Gordon.